Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to Let's Play of Command. Uh, and I'm starting with Taqui over here as the US is attacking Iran. So let's zoom out a little bit and have a look at things over here. So a lot of our aircraft, it is somewhat difficult to see that. A lot of our aircraft are in the air still, uh, and we are trying to take out uh, enemy ground installations, primarily that are down the coast over here. Uh, we can't currently see them here on TACVIEW, uh, but yeah, we are going to see them shortly. You can see the electronic countermeasure warcraft uh, that we have here in the front, and a couple of our, um, well, basically F-18s mostly, I think nearly all of them uh, are F-18s, except for, no, we do have Super Tomcats somewhere, I just don't see them right now, over here. No, I don't see them. Um, anyway, we are trying to attack the enemy um, over there. Um, let's get back to the view here on the map. So, what we're doing is we have all of these groups over here, um, and we've just taken out uh, a radar installation up over here. It was the only hit that we've got uh, gotten, and I think there was maybe one of our other missiles did come through. So, <clears throat> we've seen that it's it's extremely hard to actually bring missiles. Uh, through the enemy curtain and and just defeat their AA installations. Uh, in fact, we had eight aircraft. I think these. That's probably the. It must be somewhere over here, right? Yeah, these guys. At the very least, we had six aircrafts launching against all of these guys, uh, and that was basically to no effect whatsoever. You can still see some of the remnants of the uh, Iranian response with all of these Russian surface-to-air missiles that have been. Uh, shot at our missiles and have mostly taken them out. So, yeah. A couple of Tomahawks are still on the way over here. Um, our seed aircraft a group of four Super Hornets uh, that was launching against this uh, cluster over here has uh, now come over here just to basically uh, take out a couple of these aircrafts, uh, SU-33s mostly, yes, flankers, uh, that were launched in response. So, yeah, let's uh, see whether we're going to get away from that. Uh, we do have one um, F-35 trying to get away over here over this mountain range, um, which is a little bit high, isn't it? I mean, how just compared to this elevation down here, that's 1,200 feet. Yeah, and this goes up to 4,000, 5,000 feet. So, yeah, let's try to get over there uh, and around the back of this. I think this sound is just spurious. More F-35s up there. Now, let's get going. Um, and, oh yeah, here are the Tomcats, the Super Tomcats. Are you could potentially reach there relatively quickly. Right. Okay, so that's great. Um, you can actually loiter, I think. Right. Um, you guys are coming up over here to also just lose your missiles against this uh, assembly over there. Uh, and then you get away from over here. We've got our air cover still around over here at a very high altitude, so that's nice. Um, and I suppose it, it it is okay if we send our electronic countermeasures aircraft a little bit this way. Um, these guys can, I guess, come up a little bit against the enemy installations like such. And then let's talk about what we're going to do. So I am, um, since we did manage to take out the radar installation, we can shift our groups a little bit. These guys here uh, were aimed at these installations, but honestly, I don't think we need to take that out. If we do look at the range of them, yes, they are covering some of this mountain range. Yes, it does make it a little bit more awkward to, to, to fly over here into this cluster later on. But honestly, we can bypass that. This is not a huge threat for us, so uh, let's ignore that for now. What is a huge threat to us uh, is especially this one down here. Uh, also the book down up there and these installations up here. So I think this is the first stuff that we really need to take out. So what we're going to do is we're going to divert over here. We're going to take um, all of these guys over here. That is 13 aircraft. Um, and we're going to send them right against this target there. And I do think we do need a little bit more than 13. So let's make that 18, in fact. And let's come up this way as well. And I think that should nicely deal with them. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to bring in the uh, J source. You know what? We can actually bring you in here in parallel. Uh, because these guys are carrying very important cluster ammunition. So I would actually like them to be a little bit in the front. I think cruise speed is fine. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go let's go military speed here. Burn in this direction with these guys, and then these guys down here. Um, they can. I really want to target this here as well. Well, if you're not going to take them all out, we do want to take out the book. But these guys, I mean, we do have some range still. So 
I suppose if we... How close are you guys to withdrawing? Not that much really, right? Are you? Bingo Fuel is in 50 minutes, about 300 miles. So, in fact, I guess we could come over here. Okay, yeah. So let's get all of these guys. Let's bring you up over this way. And from there, you should be able to, to support that. So I think that's going to be okay. You know what? You can come up over here as well. Let's bring you over there. And let's bring you closer down here. And you are sort of intercepting like that. I think that's fine. Fantastic. Good stuff. And you can come here as well. Uh, actually, on cruise speed, please. Right. Lovely. Okay. Let's go. Right. So all of these guys are rearranging. And that shouldn't take too, too long. Um, and in fact, I think these guys here might come up a little bit more like that. So that should be fine. You guys are accelerating there. That's perfectly lovely. And um, you guys are hopefully shooting up... A off a couple of your missiles here at least while you're passing over this mountain range I think you should be able to engage them over there yeah let's see whether that is gonna work out right you guys can come up here yeah, they're fine though you guys are are too okay right let's grab you okay you've shot all of your missiles so let's actually get you to loiter speed I think it's okay to guide in a couple of these missiles a little bit more like that. But it's definitely fine to see them uh, going to go off in that direction. So that's that's perfectly lovely. We also have these Tomahawks over here. Which are, ooh, what's going on over here? No, I think this, this is spurious probably. I do not think that they have launched anything. Do need to be mindful about that though. Right, yeah, and you can see all of these aircrafts here are taking evasive maneuvers. Which is alright, um, that doesn't mean that at the very least uh, they are they are getting trying to get away, they are burning off their fuel and all of that, so that is, is okay enough. Right, okay, let's start over here. We've got now three groups, I think, shouldn't we? Uh, Dead 6, Dead 7 and Seed 5. Okay, let's start out with Dead 7. Um, so you guys, your job is going to be more or less exclusively uh, to target this surface to air installations. Oh, but you're not emitting. Huh. Well, that is awkward. Okay. How about the book? Yeah, the book is emitting at least. So that's going to be okay. We're going to allocate four missiles to you. There we go. 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 Right. That's a lot of missiles. Then I suppose what we could do is fire at least a couple against you know what, let's let's do a full launch against you, and you know what, we're gonna do a full launch against you as well. And then lastly against you, because why not? If we can take them out completely, that's so much the better. Um yeah, perfectly fine there. So that's all of this group. Um, what else have we got over here? That's that's these guys. We also got another six aircraft over here. Right. Man, I would really like to target this guy. Can I actually mark multiple ones? No, I cannot. Oh, that's always a little bit awkward. Can I not? And I get all weapons of this type. Yeah, that might be a little bit fast, actually. But... I cannot target by multiple ones. No, I cannot. Okay, fine. So, uh, yeah, basically we do think that they are going to at some point activate their weapon systems. And at that point, uh, we're going to launch immediately all of these uh, targets there. And hope, hope, hope to take him out that way. Right. Uh, how about the seat? I think you'll have the slightly... Huh. Uh, you have the slightly less good um, weapon systems there, indeed. You do... Okay, that's all right. Um, I suppose. Well, I suppose. Yeah, you know, it just feels like such a wastage. But I suppose it's just what we have to do. So you know what? Um, let's allocate all weapons of this type to you, and let's allocate all weapons of this type to you. And then these three guys um, are again just gonna focus on these guys, these guys, and these guys respectively, and that should. Take out all of all of your weapons. Okay, so that's nice. 
And let's give that a second over here, just to have them launch at least a couple of their missiles. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the JSOL over here. Um, and your job definitively is going to be to attack this target here. Um, with at the very least two JSOLs. And then let's attack the book with one and the SA-11 with one. Right, reason why I'm doing it this, this way is that they such that um, the first missiles here are the first ones that are going to be targeted by the Russians um, while these guys here are launching their JSOL ammunition and that they have done. Um, so basically they've done their job over here which is fantastic of course. Um, how about you guys? You have basically shot off all of your miss missiles, so you are now returning to base, um, which I appreciate a lot. So yeah, let's actually do that, and, let, and let's ask you to return to base, which you should be doing, right? Yeah, well, it's not in a manual override there, but that is something that should be okay. Well, I guess we could go this way a little bit longer, wait for these guys to, to be targeted. But you know what? I think just wrecking havoc there is, is uh, good enough. What's going on over here? Is that SU-33 really going to come up after our Bulldog? I really don't know, but it does have high speed, so that is something to be mindful about. Let's see whether the, this F-35 can uh, help out over here and maybe protect that. We're not seeing any other air contacts. So that is perfectly fine. <clears throat> Where's that missile coming from? Have you launched that? Yes, you have. Well, that is super awkward because I do not want you to be launching any weapons. Um, in fact, I would like you to be holding off against air accounts. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Good. Yeah, reason is because these guys are <clears throat> so sneaky and behind enemy lines uh, that I think it would be great if these guys were... Uh, protected a little bit over there, right? Okay, you're doing that. You are coming up over here, and let's actually bring you a little bit more in that direction. And let's actually make sure that you're going only on lighter speed, which I think is fine, uh, because we just don't want to get too close there. There's no reason for that, right? Okay, air cover two, three is over there. Air cover long is over here, and air cover one, I suppose, should be coming up this way just to support all of that. Yeah, and let's actually take a, a look here at these missiles. So can I actually get to a 3D view like that? Or is it just because I had opened that already? Yeah, I think I had opened that already. Good. Yeah, but still, I suppose we can do like this. Yes, we can. Right, okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. Ah. Just click on this. Yes, that should work. So, is this all of these guys? I think so. Yeah, but I don't see any, any ammunitions, I mean, any, any missiles of ours flying. But you can just see how many aircrafts are participating in this attack, so, yeah. Um, also, let's make sure that our EECM here is just directly coming up the same way uh, to try and um, really disrupt their, their capabilities. I suppose you can come up this way as well. Right, you guys are all passing that way, that is nice, that is nice, that is very good. Good stuff. Uh, who are you? You're Flight Viking. Ah, you were on the Combat Air Patrol. Okay, right, let's try to get you over there. And um, I don't think you have that much fuel left, no, just a little bit. Okay, there we go, fantastic. Right, so, you're all being targeted, you, the JSOL here, is returning. All of you guys are now turning away, basically, except for that six. Uh, which does make sense because these guys um, are actually still waiting uh, for this one radar here to light up, which it hasn't. So let's see about that. And we are seeing more surface to air missiles, one over here, uh, which is all right, I suppose. That is definitely from over there. Right. 30, 37 seconds that we haven't seen that. That is a little bit um, unfortunate over there. Yeah, no, we are getting an update here. Don't really know how far away it is, but I suppose that's okay. Um, another surface-to-air missile. Yeah, but that's okay. I think they, if they are launching from here against our stuff down here, that is fine. I just don't want it to be launched against our aircraft. Right. And most of you guys are just returning home now. 
Now, I suppose that's fine. Um, I would like you to engage with your missiles against some of these targets over here if you are here already, you know. So let's try to get at least you towards over there. Um, just on cruise speed, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Let's see whether this time this amount of missiles here is going to make any difference uh, or whether, again, we will be a little bit uh, disappointed by that, maybe. Right. And our aircraft here is flying in there. It is trying to jam. I don't. I hope that we're not going to be targeted by anything over here. But you can see uh, that at least this guy is now emitting. So the book is definitely sending out some missiles. It's curious that we haven't seen those yet. Uh, but I suppose that's okay. And uh, wait a minute there. I did see an explosion. And I want to see what that is. So yeah, it's AMRAMs impacting and doing stuff over here. So that is lovely. That is lovely indeed because that means we are shooting down aircraft here. And I very much like to see that. Okay, you are flying in there, but you might just might be going for some other thing as well. Right, okay. This guy is definitely trying to follow us there. Have you been shooting more missiles? You have. Why? I thought I told you, do not fire except in self-defense. Do you consider this to be self-defense? I don't think you should. All right, let's bring you back over here to the west, uh, east. Right, and let's see. We still have two Tomahawks coming in over there, which is kind of funny. Uh, but I suppose that's okay. And you are rising up there in terms of altitude, so that's okay, I suppose. Yeah, and there you can see the first missile streaming in against us. Um, but it's only a very limited amount of missiles so far, so I suppose that's okay. Ah, and we are now seeing missiles being launched from up over here, uh, which might be a good chance to just try and overwhelm them there. Uh, but whether or not that is going to work, I do not know. Well, and we are slightly awkwardly orientated, so... Um, yeah, and it's only one missile for now, so it's not that bad. Of course, there are quite a couple of air missiles up here in this vicinity. I suppose is okay. There's also a missile flying this way, uh, which I very, very much dislike to see. Are you flying? Yes, you are indeed doing that. So uh, that is a problem because that means you're coming up for our aircraft here. Um, let's get you over there uh, and let's actually ask you guys here to be on minimum altitude going that way. Um, military speed, I suppose, is fine. Um, and then the next thing that we want to do is turn off your sensors. Uh, so that you're not using radar anymore uh, and I suppose we could also try to uh, lay chav and that should hopefully be okay and enough to save you from some of these missiles. I suppose they are very high. Well, they aren't that high. But hopefully you are going to lose your target over there. So let's see. Right, what else are we seeing? Is that just these missiles? I suppose it must be. A couple of gadflies have missed our missiles there, uh, which is definitely very, very nice to see. Let's try to fly up that way. Yeah, there we go. Two of our harm missiles being shot down. Just, uh, I did think I like that. That's a couple of hits there, but I do think uh, we have a much, much better ability to penetrate them this time than the last time around. So I'm hoping to see some explosions here on the enemy systems rather than our own systems this time around. So that would be very, very lovely, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it really? Yes, I do think we've taken that out, uh, which is okay. But yeah, there are more missiles coming up there. And all in all, just a large number of hits here now. So that is fantastic. That is very good to see. Most of these guys have been definitely taken out over here. Not quite the book, but nearly so. So that is, is extremely lovely to see. Right, so that is only a single guy left over there. This guy still hasn't launched though. So that does mean these guys haven't launched. E have you? Why are there two missiles? Oh no, that's just the JSOL. All right, that's, that's okay, I suppose. So yeah, we've definitely... Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. This is very much doubly not good. Yeah. So we have come too close to the enemy over here. Uh, and they are now trying to defeat us there. Which is not the best thing for us. 
Um, on the other hand, there's still an AIM-120 flying around over here, and where are the enemy aircrafts? One is over here. Um, so I suppose you guys, you're trying to run away. Yeah, and you, and you actually were unfortunate enough to come into range. And are your sensors on? No, you on. They're not. Hmm. Well, unfortunate, unfortunate. Right. Okay. Let's see over here. I suppose what I would like to do then is start to target some of these installations um, over here and actually ask you guys to deallocate a, a lot of your weapons. Um, and that basically all but one. I think one can still target that, that very high installation over here. So you guys are just gonna... Oh, damn it. I must click them. All right, there we go. We have to click them. If that is what the game wants, then we can do that. Good. Okay. So uh, now you uh, only one of your aircraft is targeting this in case it does light up. Um, but I think what we can do is while these JSOLs are flying here, um, we can actually target this area here instead and send, um, I guess, a good number of missiles towards each of these surface-to-air installations. Um, and that should hopefully indicate some things that are happening over here. Okay, so that is one, one, one. So you have two left, which I suppose is okay. Um, let's allocate both of these towards you. So we're going to launch off against these guys. It's probably not going to be enough to take them out. Um, but what we can do then is also fly you over here uh, and actually target these guys as well. So that I think should be nice. Oh, you're outside of boresight limits. Well, that's okay. Uh, you're going to get into boresight limits sooner rather than later. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be perfectly fine. Why do you only have two missiles each? I wonder. And you are within boresight limits? That is peculiar. Right. Um, okay, let's... Uh, so the first guy is targeting that. Uh, the second guy should also be targeting the radar installations. Third guy, um, do target this with one missile each, uh, and fourth guy, you know what, as well. So I think that's fine. And you're turning this way, so that should also um, include a strike like so. Do we have something smallish over here? Yes, let's take seat two. Uh, you're also going to fly off in this direction and take care of a couple of things over here. So um, you are going to fire a missile each against this, um, your remaining missile against that. Uh, you're going to allocate um, all of your weapons on this one. Um, you are going to allocate all of your weapons on this gentleman. And likewise, kind of forgot which one I targeted, so let's allocate two missiles towards each, so each of these. Right. I think that might actually be enough. So, ah, yeah, there we go. Missile uh, aircraft destroyed over there. That is the first loss, ladies and gentlemen, that we are taking over here. It might be not the last one as another missile is coming in here. Okay, uh, the second one missed though, so that is lovely. Um, let's actually get you over this ridge then and actually engage uh, with this guy over here. And I think what we can do is actually um, shoot a couple of missiles at this guy because he is over here. Uh, and he is annoying me, so that I think is okay. And you know what? You guys are going to get another round of missiles as well. And then we have, I suppose, one last one. Is there no other aircraft over here? Have we really shot down all of the other ones? Well, one is going off to the other direction, so you know, I think it is actually like that. So let's actually take you and allocate one of your missiles to each of these targets. Lovely. Good. Uh, get over here. Uh, do get to minimum altitude, that is what you're doing already, so uh, let's do turn on your radar settings and that should allow you to engage with these guys, actually. Perfect. You guys, uh, likewise, you can engage them when the time is due, so that is okay, I guess. Right, let's resume over here. So yeah, we should see a lot of missiles being launched right about now. I suppose our jammers can come in a little bit more if all of these guys are actually uh, engaging like there. So that is okay. You guys can come up this way. Um, you can come up this way. Uh, let's actually pause over here. 
and make sure that you guys are coming more or less directly here just so that you're catching up. How about you guys? Uh, yeah, you do have a couple of missiles, but honestly, I don't think we need all of them to be launched against all of these targets there, so I think that's fine. Um, yeah, more subs to air missiles over here. Again, they might be against these targets down here, against this uh, group, that five, uh, which I really would like to not lose. Um, but let's see what's going to happen over here as these guys are. Hopefully sending off a couple of more missiles. Or failing to do that. Now they're actually going... They're on a very weird tangent. So look at these guys. These service to air missiles here are streaming more or less directly west in this direction over here. So that means they must be trying to intercept them way over here. Which simply simply is not going to work. Um, also this Tomahawk does make it surprisingly far into here. So um, that is also interesting to see. Also this SU might be a problem. So... Okay, I suppose we, you can go this way a little bit loiter, please, um, so that you're not closing in too, too quickly. Let's see whether that is going to make any difference. Ah, there is the other missile uh, aircraft, so we are sending up missiles hopefully that way too, so that is great. Yeah, more missiles streaming past over here. Uh, some of them are passing the book, but uh, I don't think that's much of a problem as these guys are still uh, coming around that way. And you guys are... You still have a couple of missiles, so I don't really want you to leave. Are you leaving? You're not bingo or anything. No. Okay, that's all right then. Good. So, missiles streaming up that way, that way, that's okay. Tomahawk still flying in. Tomahawk still flying in over here. A couple of missiles going nowhere, really. Another missile spotted, that I think is this one. Yes. So, it will probably take out um, a couple of things, but hopefully we'll be able to overwhelm them. Especially since they're not supported by anything else in the vicinity. So hopefully that is going to be alright. And these JSOLs really, really want to get them um, into the air right about there. So that would be lovely. You should also continue to target that. We've shot down that missile. Fairly lovely. Um, let's get you into this direction. So we are shooting down a lot of missiles in that direction. So that I very much like. Good. Yeah, these guys will pe pest our out somewhere. So that's okay. More missiles over here somewhere. Yeah, but I think we are overwhelming them. That is looking fairly good to me, actually. Yeah, that radar installation has actually been killed. It was a fairly old one, but yeah, I'm definitely seeing some hits over here. Um, and I don't think that is all hits on our aircraft, uh, on our missiles, actually. So, um, yeah, hopefully, 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 yeah, that, that hit would also be very nice to see. Yeah, I think some of them have definitely been taken out. Not all of them, mind you. Um, so let's actually take a second over here. So this guy apparently has not been fully taken out. As far as I can see, we are still seeing uh, some radar. Yeah, 2D, 2D search radar. It's not the worst, literally, but um, it's still around, and that is bothering me a little bit. So yeah, let's see how these guys will react and whether they will still be around, I suppose. Okay, now I do want to wait until this JSOL has hit home over there. Okay, great, great, great. Right, let's see whether that aircraft here is going to survive this, um, or maybe not. The missile ha might have had a track over there, but I'm not seeing any. Okay, let's get towards maybe a low altitude over here. This guy is definitely going low so that we can't find him. Which, oh yeah, but we have gotten him, so that is nice. Uh, let's go minimal altitude, uh, altitude from our side. Uh, let's do turn off our radars that should bring us home safely and you know what you guys um, don't actually need a manual override in your altitude anymore you can just go home perfect very very lovely indeed so um, there's a tomahawk still I think that tomahawk has probably been shot down these are just our missiles that are streaming uh, towards the enemy there you guys are actually going home so that's fine Wait, um, some stuff is engaging over there, um, and I'm not sure what you should be in could be engaging at all. So who is that? That is this guy, and that I think is bad news because that is potentially a 200 mile radius. So um, let's actually bring you over here. There we have the cloth ammunition, which should deal with that fairly nicely. You still have eight missiles left, and I suppose 
it would be very nice if you could target these guys. You have eight missiles left. I thought only four. Oh yeah, you do have eight. Well, that's lovely. Okay. And you are still emitting, so let's actually send uh, two missiles that way. See whether they uh, are still going to be engaged or not at all. Right, and since we are coming from over here and not from the other side, um, I suppose what we could do is deallocate these guys here um, and allocate them to this target specifically. Um, and that's just the, yeah, and you've got that as well. So let's send you over there as well. Let's bring you up in that direction. This is again only a probing attack, but since these guys are here uh, already, that I think is okay. Um, so to air missiles there. Not good. I'm not sure where they are going really uh, with this. So yeah, I suppose that's okay though. Right, let's bring you up further there. Send all of your missiles away and I think that should be okay. Right. I suppose we could bring the jammers home a little bit. Yeah, and here go our class ammunition. Three on this target, one on this. So I think this is going to be a very nice, nice takeout on this. Where are all of these surface to air missiles coming from? Over here, really? Okay, that is a problem because these guys have been uh, troublesome before. Okay, you really need to go sort of minimum altitude terrain following. Try to get away from over here. Hopefully we are gonna achieve that. You are flying away. Um, you're super, okay, you, you are staying over here actually, so that's okay. Let's try to get a little bit towards the rear. I don't really wanna lose any of these aircraft. Um, how about you? Yeah, I mean, this is only 16 miles away, so this is not very far. Let's try to get a little bit further to the south then and, and see whether we are going to be able to take him out that way. Right, you're still chasing that guy. Something has been shot down over here, I'm not sure what, but something. Are you in fact targeting our aircraft? You just might be. Yeah, you're definitely coming for these guys. Um, let's try to lay some chap. I'm not sure whether that is going to work, but that's fine. Yeah, and the cluster ammunition down there has definitely taken out everything. So that is fairly lovely. Um, how about you guys go down, down here? Don't see any missile over here, but it's probably attacking these guys. Ooh, and you are being attacked. Uh, let's drop aggressively. Yeah, we might be losing more aircraft over here. We were coming in a little bit close, maybe. Um, a little bit too close for our own good. Nope. Seems like they have gone. Uh, that was a very close call though. Okay, let's let's take a brief moment over here just to reassess the situation. So, um, where do we stand? Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, where do we stand? We've got one aircraft over here, Nessie 33, that is going to try to run after our uh, lightning. I suppose that's okay. I don't think he's going to reach us. Not sure where he is exactly, but I don't think he is going to be very successful in doing that. So that is okay. Ooh, look at that. There are a lot of aircrafts over here. I don't think we have seen anyone launch from this airbase um, at all. So let's see what exactly that is. We don't know at this point. Um, you know what? You guys can, I suppose, just go back to your, your combat air patrol. That I think should be fine. You guys are returning home. That is, is good as well. And you're going to come here and provide some air cover. That is good as well. You guys are all sort of returning home. Um, except for the long range guys. Uh, I suppose you can come over here over the um, sea air cover. We're going to withdraw you a little bit from there. Um, you guys can go a little bit towards the south and that should also be okay. Fine, fantastic. And then we've got still a good number of aircraft over here. At the very least 14, 20 aircraft that can still launch ammunition. So we're going to wait until these guys here have pissed it out. Um, I think they're not going to go anywhere, um, but then these 20 aircrafts uh, will potentially try and at least address uh, the next installation over here. I think most of these are just re Ooh, SA-22? No, that does look like an infrared. 
Yeah, you just you guys are just not very um, very threatening except for the SA-10 over here, uh, which does have a uh, relatively high range, doesn't it? 40 miles. It's not that bad. So that's what, like, no, it's pretty much still the entire straight, so that is something that definitely we do need to take out. Uh, we don't need to sail in this uh, vicinity, but this is something, um, this guy here is then something that I do want to take out. We must also be uh, mindful about these installations down there. You know what, we can come up this way. Should we have four? Oh no, the other one is over here. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's bring you over there. Um, you can come up this way. In fact, I think you can come up a little bit within this parameter and you're gonna come up that way. Fine, fantastic, good. Uh, let's see whether any of these guys here is still emitting um, and I shouldn't think so, but you never know. No, they are not emitting, so I, I, I don't think they are still operational. Uh, they potentially lost some of their uh, leading. Oh, you're, also, you're also an SA-10, so you also have that 40 mile radius. Here is that I can't see that. Right. Okay, that means we have to use at least one of the J saws on you, I think. Okay, let's grab you and let's target you with one each. But before we do that, I think we're going to engage this these guys so that they're not um, supporting the defense of this. Although it's going to take quite a while. So yeah, that being said, I think this is a very good place to put in a cut. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you around next time. Um, all in all, pity that we did lose that one aircraft, but I think all in all for an all-out war, um, I think we're doing relatively fine. Oh, you, you know what? You guys um, can come up a little bit whoop, towards over here as well um, and support a little bit more uh, the area there. We've got eyeball number two nearly landing there. We've got a couple of guys down here landing. Not to what you were doing, but I suppose you're doing fine now. Good. Bye-bye, guys. Do leave a like and all of that, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.